Alrighty guys, well hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jordan and I'm so happy to have you. So today is going to be an unedited day in my life. And I've never done one of these before, so basically the rule of thumb is that you can't edit out anything, any like mistakes or awkward silences, like you're pretty much just using the raw footage, which is going to be a challenge for me because I, for one, love editing, but also I mess up quite a bit and sometimes I lose my train of thought. So that is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to bring you along with me on my day like a normal vlog, but there's not going to be any b-roll or like cute overlay music or anything like that. So currently it is 9.26 a.m. I woke up at like quarter to seven, did a workout, took a shower, and got ready for the day. So I have quite a bit on my plate today, some errands to run, and yeah, that's what's happening. So... <laughs> See, I don't know what to say. Um, let's go downstairs and make some breakfast. Dad, say hello to your fans. Hi, your... fans. How are you? <laughs> With my dead flowers next to him. Mm. They lasted quite a while, though. That's like three weeks. Yeah. What do you got to say, no, Mom? No, 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 I don't know, no. So for breakfast, I just made a nice piece of whole wheat toast, or actually I think it's 12 grain, and two eggs with a copious amount of hot sauce, and a little bit of pepper and salt. Okay, so I finished breakfast, and now I've got a little bit of iced coffee. This is like leftover from yesterday, but I did just buy this coffee from Marshalls, I wanna say, it was like literally in the checkout aisle. But it's so good. It's the Happy Camper ground coffee. Um, but it's salted caramel flavor. And like, if only you could smell how good this smells. And I'm literally drinking it black. I mean, I like black coffee, but not if it's super like bitter. Um, but it's so good that you don't even need like creamer or almond milk or anything in it. So, cheers to that. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. So here is my little to-do list for the day. Obviously, I already done these three things, but I need to call Rite Aid to refill my prescription, and then we've got a few little fun errands to run today. Obviously, for privacy purposes, I'm covering the addresses, but I just wrote a little note for my friend Morgan. She's currently on tour with Disney on Ice, um, and yeah, she always sends me some really nice letters in the mail, so I wanted to just write her a card and got to send this out today. And then I also have an order I sold on Poshmark. If you want to check out my Poshmark, I'll have it linked below, but I did sell my NASA crew neck, so I've also got to drop this off at USPS. There's no bell. <laughs> Off to our next stop of the day. Picking up my prescription. How exciting. <laughs> Let's see. Pick up. Okay. Here we are. Hi. 
Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Secured the goods. Alrighty. It's freaking freezing. Okay, it's not even sunny out, but I'm wearing my sunglasses because I just don't care. Also, it's a vibe. But it's freaking cold out. I just got gas and I don't even know what temperature it is, but it's freezing. My little cheeks are all red. But um, where are we going next? Hmm. Sorry. See, I would cut this out usually. I think I'm going to go to Target next and then we'll update. Here we are yet again. I feel like I come here like every time I vlog, but... I promise I'm not here every day. So I'm in Target and I am looking for shampoo and body wash because I'm out of both. So this is the shampoo I think I want, but they don't have any conditioners left. So maybe I'll have to get a different one. Alrighty, so I am back, back in my car and just wanted to do a little quick little haul for you. So I did end up getting that shampoo. This is the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Color Treatment Shampoo. Um, this was like $6. And then I got the L'Oreal Paris Ever Strong Sulfate Free Thickening Conditioner because I'm trying to get my hair back to its original thickness since all the bleach over the past couple years has just really done me dirty. Um, and also they didn't have the conditioner to go along with this. Um, and then I got just some Dove Shea Butter and Warm Vanilla Body Wash. Simple as that. So now I'm going to head to the mall because I actually want to go to Lululemon and get a few of my like shirts and one pair of pants altered because they're a little bit long and like awkward and I just feel like they'd be cuter cropped. Like I love a good crop top. So we're gonna head there now. Hopefully they're still doing alterations considering it's like the pandemic, but I don't see why not. So I'll see you when I see you. It's freaking snowing again, but we're here. We're at the mall and it's snowing. I'm so over it. So I am home now from my errands and I just made a little parfait, just some Greek yogurt, bananas, not bananas, <laughs> why did I say bananas, strawberries and granola and it's sunny outside. So I pretty much manifested the sunshine with bringing my sunglasses with me today. So you're welcome. So I love this idea and this like story or this moral of that story that when I when I get high pitched she starts to she starts to kiss me <laughs> okay okay she likes to lick my leggings I don't know why like what's on the leggings girl home girl <laughs> can I help you my father has just returned home and a package came for me. I've been waiting a few days for this. Um, but I got my package from Dippin' Daisies. So I will be showing this in another video soon. We'll just give you like a little, little peep. I haven't even looked at it yet. Let's see. Let's get a little peek. Oh my god, how cute. Okay, this is all I'm gonna show for now. But stay tuned for another video. What is in here? Ooh, this is gonna be exciting. Unboxing haul oh, from Joe Bow. Exciting. <laughs> what is it? What was I gonna say? Um, I literally haven't vlogged in hours. I kind of forgot. 
but really all I've been doing is editing and then I catched up with my parents for a bit when my mom came home from work and I made dinner totally forgot to show all of that but like I ate dinner that's all you missed so now I'm up in my room and I'm finishing exporting the vlog or whatever the video for Friday and I started to kind of look back on old ship vlogs and I'm so sad right now because it's so crazy to think that a year ago I was preparing to come home from my contract and like still at this point I was completely oblivious to coronavirus like I did not hear anything about it until the day I signed off on March 13th so at this point I was like just literally in my own world thought I was going home for like a three month vacation and then back in June I was supposed to head back for my second contract um so it's just crazy I've been home a year and like what have I been doing with my life I don't know I couldn't tell you but on a lighter note um it's nice to look back at those memories and yeah I just I miss all the people that I met on the ship all the friends I've made and I'm just so grateful for the opportunity and I cannot wait to return. But I kind of went on a tangent though. If you want to check out those vlogs, I'll have the playlist aboard with Jordan linked below. Chances are you've probably already seen it. That's how how the blah, blah, sorry. That's how I feel like most of you have found my channel was through that. Um, but now I think I'm going to paint my nails. I'm gonna do some gel nails because there's nothing on them right now. And a company actually sent me a few nail polishes to try out with their like UV gel light. So I'm super excited to try that out. And um, yeah. So here's everything they sent me. The brand is called Nail Addict. I'll have their stuff linked below if you're interested. But they just sent me this mini UV lamp. It's called um, so it literally just looks like this it has little legs and then you just press that button to turn it on this is the cord that goes with it you can you know attach it to your laptop or to a little cube and then these are all the nail polishes they sent me so I have a hot pink a baby blue a light pink and a yellow and then these are the base and top coats so we're gonna try it out um, I don't know what color I want to choose so let me turn the camera off, decide what I want to do, and get to it. Here is the color I decided on. It's called Be My Baby. Okay, we plug this in. Let's give it a test. Oh, damn, look at that. That's pretty bright. Sweet. Okay, that's all set. Let me prep. This is the base coat. It's kind of hard to tell if you're doing a good job because it's clear, but you know what? I guess we will find out now, won't we? Also, the lighting in my room is not doing me any favors. It's so, like, dim right now, but it's all about the vibe, you know? The vibe lighting. Okay. There she is. Okay, now we put it in the light. Just like that. Alrighty, it's time for the pink. Oh, it's so cute. It's like a it's like a baby pink. Okay. Here we go. I always have to remind myself less is more with nail polish because I always make the first coat a little too thick which never ends well for me. But I also don't paint my nails enough to be that good at it. Oh my god, why does this smell like bubble gum? I might just be losing my sanity, but it literally smells like bubble gum. I finished my nails. This is what they look like. I think they turned out pretty good actually. And they are completely dry, which is amazing. So I won't nick them on anything, but yeah, it feels like I got them done at the nail salon obviously I did not paint them as well as you know my lady does it my girl Marlene she always hooks it up um but you know what it's better than no nail polish on my nails so yeah cute fun flirty we love a good pink moment so 
I actually just binged Bridgerton in like two days. I didn't think I'd like it, but I was obsessed. Like literally watched it in two days. So now I think I'm gonna watch, what did Emily recommend? Oh, Behind Her Eyes. Let me know if you've watched this. I think I might start this um, because like I said, Emily said it was really good. So I just wanted to come on here and end the vlog, this little unedited day in my life. Um, definitely was like a fun little challenge for me and out of my comfort zone 100% because I'm a perfectionist. I've said it before, but like I seriously am a perfectionist and I like everything to look perfect and be edited all nicely. So this definitely was different, but I did have a lot of fun and it's just made me embrace me and like I didn't take any retakes. So you know, props to me for that, but, um, what was I gonna say? Well, see, this is what happens. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoy, blah, blah, blah. if you did enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you aren't already. I have a lot of fun content planned for March. Cannot believe it's already March, but yeah, hope you all have a wonderful day, afternoon, night, whenever you're watching this, and I will just see you in my next video. Bye, guys.